Hey, what's up, folks? How's it going? This is Waj. Hope you guys are all doing well. So several weeks ago, we created a PC to go head to head against the uh, new PlayStation 4 Pro. Definitely check out that video if you haven't already. Here, we're going to go into more detail of what the parts list is and what this budget mid-range gaming PC can do. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about is the case because it's quite special. It's the Silverstone RVX 01. Now, at $80, there's certainly a lot more economical PC cases that you can go for if you want to save a couple of bucks but one of the things that makes this computer special is definitely this pc case it's based off of the original rv1 by silverstone the raven pc case which introduced the whole aspect of rotating the motherboard nine degrees therefore the io is facing the top and that way you can utilize the natural elements of heat convection where the hot air rises from the bottom to the top and that's why at the bottom of the case there are three 120 millimeter fans that suck up air from the bottom of the case and exhaust it directly at the top. Apart from the sleek and dynamic looking external design, the chassis itself is not that heavy and it's fairly compact, about the size of a standard micro ATX case, even though there's a room for a full size ATX motherboard inside the case. So you can really uh, go full out and make a really premium build with this, even though we're going to orient this case for more of a budget based system. Now, the platform that we're going to go with is an 880K uh, paired with an FM2 Plus motherboard from Gigabyte. There are actually a couple of reasons why we went in this direction for the processor itself the amd athlon x4 880k is a pretty nice overall quad core cpu that's uh, well under 100 dollars and uh, you can definitely overclock it uh, we actually pushed it with the, the new cooler that comes included with the processor up to 4.5 gigahertz with the multiplier set to 45 and with the voltage set to about 1.4 volts and the temperature readout on the chip didn't go beyond uh, 68 degrees celsius even at full gaming load now these days when it comes to motherboards you can really select any fm2 plus certified board there's plenty of used ones out there so if you're looking for a good deal there's plenty of great deals out there i actually got a used version of this gigabyte gaf2 board on amazon uh, and it only cost about 28 dollars. so definitely a great deal has plenty of usb connectivity uh, lots of uh, sata connections for your hard drives and ssd and plenty of room to grow with and it's a great overall platform to start out with now if you're going to spend the most amount of money on any part for a gaming machine it has to be obviously the gpu we selected an xfx rx 480 this is the rs edition so it has a little bit of a factory overclock that uh, to uh, 1288 megahertz you can uh, certainly go up from there uh, it has plenty of cooling potential to support uh, some minor overclocking capabilities and uh, just generally speaking the rx 480 is an absolutely great graphics card uh, for a new graphics card if you are going to get one right now it probably has one of the best uh, bang for the dollars especially for high resolution uh, 1080p uh, high detail gaming as well as quad hd gaming and a little bit of 4k if you want to bump down uh, some of the detail settings the really unique thing about this xfx card is it actually comes with uh, swappable fans and it's really easy to do and i've never seen it done on a graphics card before but uh, basically you can take out the stock fans and uh, put a uh, special fans in from xfx whether they be uh, different uh, colored led fans like you see over here or uh, eventually they'll have uh, some better fans for some better airflow and uh, perhaps even third party uh, fans will be available for this graphics card for even better overclocking capabilities and thermal dynamics but as it stands the rx 480 is certainly an enthusiast grade graphics card that in some regards uh, beats uh, its nvidia counterparts obviously if you want to go nvidia uh, one logical replacement for this card would be the gtx uh, 1060 but i think in a lot of different gaming scenarios and different titles and with the vulcan integration into here uh, you certainly will get some uh, scenarios where this will edge up the uh, gtx at 1060 check out our uh, comparison in the description down below for more details as far as some of the other parts we're using an evga 500 watt uh, power supply only costs around 30 dollars generally good efficiency it is a non-modular power supply which is to be expected at this price range in terms of ram you can go with whatever you like but 8 gigs is a nice sweet spot and it's ddr3 memory so it's coming down in price since uh we have a uh, current generation is ddr4 so you can probably get a great deal in the used market and uh when it comes to the storage you can go with an ssd but to keep things on the cheap we're going with a 500 gigabyte mechanical hard drive and all in all for my specific build
failed. It came to about $541.18, not including, of course, the operating system, which you all probably have to tack on another $100 for a copy of Windows 10. And uh, obviously, the pricing will fluctuate depending upon where you are in the world and what time you're getting these things, and if you're buying used or new, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, generally speaking, we're under $550 for the hardware aspect of this build. Uh, now, without any further ado, let's actually get into some performance benchmark results, and that, that way you can determine if this PC is right for you. But besides all that stuff, guys, as you can see, the uh, general gaming performance of this PC is fairly outstanding, uh, especially if you're going to do any kind of quad HD, full HD gaming, certainly capable of some 4K gaming, but you're going to have to lower down your detail settings. If you want more information about the specific parts we use, check out uh, the uh, link in the description down below for all that good stuff. Other than that, thank you so much for your continuing support by watching this content, and we'll see you later. Take care.